There are two possibilities here, based on whether the colour of the hats worn by prisoners B and C are the same or are different. I look at these two scenarios in turn. So first, scenario 1. Let's suppose the hats worn by prisoners B and C are the same colour. Which particular colour doesn't matter, but let's say they're both red. Prisoner A is the only one who can see this, and under the circumstances he must take the initiative and speak up. He should realise that since both red hats are already accounted for, the colour of his hat and that of the solitary prisoner are the opposite to that of the two hats worn by B and C. So prisoner A should raise his hand and say, I know that my hat is blue. And indeed he would be right. A more interesting scenario is if the hats worn by prisoners B and C are of a different colour. Again, the order of the colours doesn't matter, but let's assume that prisoner B's hat is red and prisoner C's hat is blue. Under these circumstances, prisoner B must be the logical one. After allowing a reasonable period of time to elapse, he realises that prisoner A hasn't come up with the solution. Prisoner B should then come to the conclusion that the reason for A's silence is because the colours of the hats on prisoners B and C are different. Prisoner B can see in front of him the colour of C's hat, in this case blue. So he can now work out that his hat must be the opposite colour, in this case red. And by the way, I'm sure prisoner B is hoping that prisoner A acted rationally and that his silence was a thoughtful one.